Hi there. I am in my backyard garden. I'm reading from the Bible. Today I'm reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 3. In chapter 3, it talks about defeat of King Og, and then it finishes up by talking about Moses views Canaan from Pisgah. But before I get started, I want to talk just a little bit about what you see in the video today. Today I'm showing you a bush that we have in one of our garden beds. And I guess kind of off to the right, you can see a little bit of a, a locust tree and off to the left, a little bit of an elderberry bush. Um, but the one I'm focusing on is kind of all of that in the middle and it has red flowers on it that attract hummingbirds. Um, the beneficial insects and butterflies like it as well, but mostly um, it attracts the hummingbirds. Okay, enough about the garden. Back to Bible reading. Today I'm reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 3. The reading begins. When we headed up the road to Bashan, King Og of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people, for battle at Edrei. The Lord said to me, do not fear him, for I have handed him over to you, along with his people and his land. Do to him as you did to King Sahan of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon. So the Lord our God also handed over to us King Og of Bashan and all his people. We struck him down until not a single survivor was left. At that time, we captured all his towns. There was no citadel that we did not take from them, 60 towns. The whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All these were fortress towns with high walls, double gates, and bars besides a great many villages, and we utterly destroyed them as we had done to King Sahan of Heshbon, in each city utterly destroying men, women, and children. But all the livestock and the plunder of the towns we kept as spoil for ourselves. So. At that time, we took from the two kings of the Amorites, the land beyond the Jordan, from the Wadi Arnon to Mount Hermon. The Sidonians call Hermon Sirion, while the Amorites call it Sanir. All the towns of the table land, the whole of Gilead, and all of Bashan as far as Salica and Edrei, town of Og's kingdom in Bashan. Now, only King Og of Bashan was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. In fact, his bed, an iron bed, can still be seen in Rabbah of the Ammonites. By the common cubit, it is nine cubits long and four cubits wide. As for the land that we took possession of at that time, I gave to the Rebanites and Gadites the territory north of Aurora, that is, on the edge of the Wadi Arnon, as well as half the hill country of Gilead with its towns. And I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh the rest of Gilead and all of Bashan. Og's kingdom, the whole region of Argob, all that portion of Bashan used to be called a land of Rephaim. Jeur, the Manassite, 
acquired the whole region of Argob as far as the border of the Geshurites and the Makathites, and he named them, that is, Bashan, after himself, Havoth Jer, as it is to this day. To Meshur I gave Gilead, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory from Gilead as far as Wadi Arnon, with the middle of the Wadi as a boundary, and up to the Jabbok, the Wadi being boundary of the Ammonites, the Arabah also with the Jordan and its banks, from Chinnereth down to the Sea of the Arabah, the Dead Sea, with the lower slopes of Pisgah on the east. At that time I charged you as follows, Although the Lord your God has given you this land to occupy, all your troops shall cross over armed as the vanguard of your Israelite kin. Only your wives, your children, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall stay behind in the towns that I've given to you. When the Lord gives rest to your kindred as to you, and they too have occupied the land that the Lord your God is giving them beyond the Jordan, then each of you may return to the property that I have given to you. And I charged Joshua as well at that time, saying, Your own eyes have seen everything that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So the Lord will do to all the kingdoms into which you are about to cross. Do not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. At that time, too, I entreated the Lord, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your might. What God in heaven or on earth can perform deeds and mighty acts like yours? Let me cross over to see the good land beyond the Jordan, that good hill country, and the Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me on your account, and would not heed me. The Lord said to me, Enough from you. Never speak to me of this matter again. Go up to the top of Pisgah, and look around you to the west, to the north, to the south and to the east. Look well, for you shall not cross over this Jordan, but charge Joshua and encourage and strengthen him, because it is he who shall cross over at the head of this people and who shall secure their possessions of the land that you will see. So we remained in the valley opposite Beth Peor. This ends the reading of Deuteronomy chapter 3.